Good afternoon and welcome to the weekly market comment for the 23rd of March. Finally, economists are in agreement that for the time being, the Eurozone is under control. Although close scrutiny is being paid to Spain and Portugal, who say they do not want to be branded the new Greece. Greece are though by no means out of the water, with the Bank of Greece releasing official figures showing an expectation that the economy will shrink by 4.55%. ECB member Geithner stated that the risk of catastrophic failure in Europe has passed, and it will now time to focus on growth. However, the flash manufacturing and services figures released Thursday did little to enhance this proposition, with all bar German flash services contracting during the previous month. The euro weakened 100 points against the dollar off the back of this news. Oil is the latest headache for world economies. The price of crude oil rose above the $107 a barrel mark over supply fears as the restriction on Iran starts to kick in. It seems in reality that there is a readily abundant supply, however, with Saudi Arabia saying they have 25% excess capacity and France considering releasing strategic oil reserves. The IMS Lagarde has commented that oil prices could rise by between 20 and 30% because of these difficulties. In Britain, economic policy was of interest, with the release of the budget and the monthly MPC meeting. The committee, as expected, chose to keep interest rates constant and voted 7 to 2 in favour of no new quantitative easing measures. Inflation was slightly lower than previous months at 3.4%, whilst public net borrowing was 12.9 billion, its highest level in February since records began, detailing a significantly larger than expected budget deficit. The budget itself had little market impact, but will influence the state of consumers' pockets in the years to come, and offered positive news for businesses with a confirmation that corporation tax will be cut to 24% from next month, falling to 22% by 2014. This should particularly help large companies. There was also an above-the-line tax credit for large companies that invest in research and product development, which could lead to firms making investment decisions and starting to put record cash piles to work. Now equities. After a strong start to the year, mining stocks appear to be on the retreat as commodity prices begin to fall. Rand Gold Resources saw a 13% drop in stock price after news of a coup by mutinous soldiers in Mali. Rand Gold gets about two thirds of its gold production from this West African country. Gem Diamonds released positive underlying earnings up 119%, with Cairn Energy and Premier Oil from the oil and gas sectors announcing solid performances in their full year results. In the retail sector, Debenhams, Ted Baker and Next all produced results in line with expectations, and Kingfisher announced a tax profit of 807 million and a raised dividend and an EPS of 26.9p. In America, focus centered on Apple, who announced their first ever dividend of $2.65 per share. They also revealed they are to undertake a $10 billion share buyback scheme as they look to utilize their substantial cash reserves. The company is now valued at nearly $600 billion, similar in the size to the GDP of Poland. UPS declared it had bought TNT for $6.77 billion, and Oracle revealed they bounced back in Q3, beating analysts' EPS expectations.